Now we're putting that mission of curing disease under the sights of bioelectronic medicine. That process of using devices to control nerves, to control molecular mechanisms, is bioelectronic medicine. Pharmaceuticals have long been the cornerstone of modern medicine, but a revolution is brewing. Bioelectronic medicine is emerging as a powerful new approach, using the body's electrical signals to diagnose and treat a range of conditions. This isn't science fiction. Bioelectronic devices are already changing lives. But what exactly does the future hold for this groundbreaking field? Let's explore the exciting potential of bioelectronic medicine and how it could transform healthcare as we know it. The rise of bioelectronic medicine. In recent years, a new field in healthcare called bioelectronic medicine has been growing quickly due to advances in medical research and technology. This field is very innovative and exciting because it holds great promise for improving the way we diagnose and treat many different diseases. Bioelectronic medicine focuses on using electrical pulses to change how nerves function. This method, known as neuromodulation, targets the central and peripheral nervous systems, which include the brain, spinal cord, and all the nerves throughout the body. The goal is to adjust nerve activity in a way that can help treat various medical conditions. Our bodies communicate using electrical signals. These signals travel through our nervous system and all the nerves throughout our body. The nervous system acts as a big communication network, sending messages to different parts of the body to control functions such as movement, sensation, and even internal processes like heartbeats and digestion. Bioelectronic medicine taps into this natural communication system. One common technique in bioelectronic medicine is spinal cord stimulation. This involves placing small electrodes on the spine, which send electrical signals to block pain messages before they reach the brain. This can be especially helpful for people who suffer from chronic pain that doesn't respond well to other treatments. Another technique is deep brain stimulation. This method is used for conditions like Parkinson's disease, epilepsy, and depression. It involves placing electrodes in specific areas of the brain. These electrodes send precise electrical impulses to help regulate abnormal brain activity. By doing so, it can reduce symptoms and improve the quality of life for patients with these neurological disorders. Vagus nerve stimulation is yet another technique. The vagus nerve runs from the brain through the neck and into the chest and abdomen. Stimulating this nerve with electrical pulses can help control seizures in epilepsy patients and alleviate depression symptoms. In all these methods, tiny electrodes are carefully placed on the targeted nerves or brain areas. These electrodes are connected to a small device called an implantable pulse generator. The generator sends electrical pulses through the electrodes, modifying the nerve activity as needed. This approach offers a less invasive alternative to traditional treatments, such as medications or surgeries, and can provide relief where other methods have failed. By altering nerve signals with precision, bioelectronic medicine helps manage symptoms and improve the lives of people with various conditions, offering hope for those seeking better treatment options. Bioelectronic medicine benefits and capabilities. Bioelectronic medicine has been successfully used to diagnose and treat a variety of challenging diseases, such as arrhythmias, major depressive disorder, treatment-resistant diseases, incontinence, and chronic pain. It is changing how we both diagnose and treat medical conditions instead of using drugs. These devices can monitor a patient's health in real time and take action when needed. For example, a pacemaker is a small device placed in the chest to help control abnormal heart rhythms. It sends electrical signals to the heart to ensure it beats at the right pace. This can be life-saving for people with heart problems as it helps maintain a steady and healthy heartbeat. Imagine having a problem like arthritis or a metabolic syndrome. These are diseases where the body is often inflamed, causing pain and other issues. With bioelectronic medicine, doctors can use devices to communicate with the nerves in the body and help control this inflammation. Another example is the cochlear implant, which helps people who are deaf or hard of hearing. This device is surgically placed in the ear and works by converting sounds into electrical signals. These signals are then sent to the brain, allowing the person to hear. Unlike traditional hearing aids that simply amplify sound, cochlear implants bypass damaged parts of the ear and directly stimulate the auditory nerve. 
This makes it possible for many individuals to hear more clearly and understand speech better. One of the remarkable aspects of these bioelectronic devices is that they can be customized to fit the specific needs of each patient. This personalized approach means that the treatment can be adjusted based on how the patient responds over time. For instance, the settings on a pacemaker can be fine-tuned to better match the patient's heart activity, ensuring optimal performance. Similarly, cochlear implants can be programmed to cater to the unique hearing loss patterns of the user. These advancements in bioelectronic medicine offer huge benefits. Patients can enjoy more precise and effective treatments that respond to their body's changing needs. This provides better outcomes and improves the quality of life for many people. The most exciting feature of these devices is their ability to be powered and controlled without the need for wires. They can operate and communicate with other systems using wireless technology. For patients, this wireless capability is a big advantage because it eliminates the discomfort and inconvenience of having wires connected to their bodies. Because bioelectronic devices can be adjusted or updated wirelessly, they offer a flexible and dynamic approach to patient care. Doctors can modify the treatment as needed without invasive procedures. In hospitals, bioelectronic devices can be smoothly integrated into existing healthcare systems. They can connect to hospital networks, allowing healthcare professionals to monitor and adjust their functions remotely. This connectivity enables doctors to receive real-time data about a patient's condition and respond quickly to any changes. The integration of bioelectronic devices into hospital systems can streamline patient care, making it more efficient and responsive. A huge benefit of bioelectronic devices is their adaptability and precision. Unlike traditional medications, which often work by affecting the entire body, bioelectronic devices can target specific nerves or organs. This targeted approach can lead to more effective treatments with fewer side effects. For example, a bioelectronic device could stimulate a nerve to alleviate pain without the need for painkillers, which can have various side effects. Currently, scientists are looking into how these devices can help with diseases like diabetes and hypertension or high blood pressure. The goal is to not just relieve the symptoms of these diseases, but also potentially address the root causes. One of the main benefits of bioelectronic medicine is that it can improve patient health outcomes. For example, instead of taking daily medication, a person might use a bioelectronic device that helps control their blood sugar levels or blood pressure. This could lead to fewer side effects compared to traditional drugs, which can sometimes cause unwanted reactions in the body. Additionally, Relying less on medications can help lower healthcare costs since patients wouldn't need to purchase as many drugs. Over time, these treatments could be more cost-effective by reducing the need for expensive medications and hospital visits. Early research into bioelectronic medicine shows promise in several areas. For instance, these devices might be able to detect heart conditions that do not show obvious symptoms, which are often called silent heart conditions. This means doctors could catch and treat these issues before they become serious problems. Moreover, bioelectronic devices could help manage the body's metabolism and control inflammation, which are important factors in many diseases. The future of bioelectronic medicine. The field of bioelectronic medicine is growing rapidly. Researchers are developing new devices and methods to treat a wide range of conditions, including autoimmune diseases, chronic pain, and even diabetes. Recently, there have been big developments with more companies and technologies stepping up. In 2019, the NeuroSigma Monarch ETNS system got the thumbs up from the FDA to help treat ADHD, making it a trailblazer in medical devices. Monarch is not big, about the size of a cell phone. This gadget sends out a gentle electric pulse. It hooks up to a small patch that sticks to your forehead, just above your eyebrows. When it's on, you might feel a tingling sensation on your skin. Another player in the bioelectronic medicine scene is Fempulse. They're making waves with their treatment for overactive bladder in women. Based in Minneapolis, the company is running a study to see how well their Fempulse system works. This system is all about neuromodulation, using mild electric nerve stimulation to help control bladder issues and ease OAB symptoms. It's a new way to tackle a common problem. 
MedAutonomic has made big steps forward with its brain technology. According to the company, they've put their Phoenix device into someone's stomach wall using a special procedure. This device talks to the brain to fix problems in the autonomic nervous system. They hope this can help with diseases like type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, and GERD. What's special about this is that the Phoenix can get power from the body, so it doesn't need a battery. There are lots of other great technologies in bioelectronic medicine. Scientists are working on making these treatments better. They want devices that are wireless and easy to put in. They're also using smart computer programs to make treatments work even better. In the future, they hope to use sound waves and small batteries to make devices even smaller. This kind of medicine could change healthcare a lot. It could mean treatments that are more exact and don't need big surgeries. That might make healthcare cheaper and help patients feel better. Scientists are also working on making these devices smaller and more comfortable for patients to use. While bioelectronic medicine is promising, there are still challenges to overcome. These include ensuring that devices are safe, effective, and affordable. However, Bioelectronic medicine could lead to new treatments for many diseases that are currently hard to manage. Continued research and innovation in this field will be crucial for turning these possibilities into reality. If you have made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.